Welcome everybody, my name is Michael and today we're discussing about Binance stopping withdrawals and users being very upset and frustrated. So let's go through the details, what's going on, why this is happening, and uh, spoiler alert, this doesn't only happen with Binance, this happens with Coinbase with all the other exchanges. Welcome to cryptocurrency, it's always crazy down here. I'm a big fan of Binance, I'm a big fan of BNB, we've seen some epic gains but unfortunately but unfortunately, that's how it works with exchanges when you have either a, a lot of activity, a lot of volume pumping through your exchange and the servers are overloaded or there's issues with liquidity. And this is another big issue. Some exchanges, unfortunately, I know it's not the best thing to say, but they're over leveraged and they don't have enough liquidity at the time to be able to handle all the withdrawals. Fractional reserve banking, but with cryptocurrencies. Now, I am obviously biased because I'm on the side of Binance, but just like any large company, this can happen. And going forward, depending on Binance's reaction and how quickly they're able to resolve this, either A, they pull a Robin Hood, or B, they're able to resolve this and not become the laughing stock of the cryptocurrency world like <clears throat> Coinbase. So I believe in Binance. Hopefully everything's going to be okay. But regardless of how much you love an exchange, regardless of how much you love a project, not your keys, not your cryptocurrency. So let's discuss about this. So Binance suspended all withdrawals. It's a top tier exchange. And they announced in a tweet today that the suspension of withdrawal for some or all assets at different times, this was depending on the hour of the day, has been suspended. Earlier, they announced that the temporary closing of withdrawals for Ethereum and XLM, XLM Stellar Lumen, due to large volumes reached by these currencies. Prior to that, Ethereum had surged above $4,100 and was actually $2 away from its new all-time high of $4,200. Absolutely crazy. Speaking of which, BNB almost hit its new all-time high of $700. It stopped just short of $692. And Stellar Lumens hit $0.74. Cents. It's the highest level that we've seen since back in 2018. Now, the Binance team has assured users that it's working very hard to resolve the issues and resume withdrawals. And as of now, an update, they have resumed withdrawals. Everything's okay. Uh, meanwhile, there's a lot of people upset on Instagram, on Twitter, responding to, hey, what are you doing? I'm losing money, da, da, da. And if you go through these comments, a lot of them are saying Robinhood 2.0, da, da, da. But Shibu Inu and Safe Moon, they're constantly talking about this, and I absolutely hate this fan. This is what we were discussing about in a previous video not too long ago. Guys, you gotta be careful with these projects. I really, really am a little bit concerned when I see hundreds of these Shibu Inu comments. And yes, Shibu Inu was technically impacted by this, but right now, looking at the markets, everything has gone down for a little bit of a dip. Bitcoin just fell to $55,000. Ethereum's back below $4,000. BNB is still above $600. It's at 631, so that's not too bad. But uh, Dogecoin fell below 50 cents. It's currently at 45 cents. Shibu Inu, everything's been falling. And Shibu Inu was that um, pump that had 500, 600% gains in a single day. Obviously not sustainable. So, you know, uh, there have been a lot of issues for exchanges throughout the very beginning of this industry every single hacking every single time there's been a lot of users even with binance themselves so there was main errors with shibu inu uh, cashing out on dogecoin or checking on ethereum now bitcoin also experienced some errors Early this morning, it started, and the exchange tweeted at 7.10 a.m. on Eastern that withdrawals would be suspended. As of 7.34 a.m., the exchange said it was operating as normal. So it wasn't anything huge. There have been some backlogs. There's been a lot of support requests. And there's been, obviously, a lot of activity. I mean, obviously, with Shaibu going up over a 1,000% within a matter of three days, it's a pretty big deal. It was listed on uh, Binance, and it gave a new audience, I guess, there was also a lot of traffic coming in from Dogecoin, and it's not the first time this exchange or any exchange has had issues with a lot of investors suddenly coming in. We apologize for any inconvenience caused, and thank you for your patience. Now, here's a crazy statistic. Binance has been attracting more than 300,000 user registrations every single day. It exceeded its previous peak reached in 2017. So it's not uncommon for it to crash. That's a lot of people. Anyways, now they're back to normal. So 
What do you think? They quickly repaired it. Sure, there were some people that might have lost money for a little bit, but they're still reacting in a much better fashion than all these other exchanges. Remember Poloniex from the good old days? Oh yeah, they loved responding you within two months and Coinbase is, yeah, they're, they're really great guys. Oh yeah, it only takes half the summer to respond about, oh, I lost money. I just had a comment today, let me show you. Now we do have uh, most likely a scammer here. Seriously, I was lucky I got access to my account back, but I made a Coinbase support video and here we most likely have a real individual because you can just go onto the Coinbase Reddit and see that people are constantly con talking about this. I have over 100,000 locked up with no help. That's great. On my video alone, there's been multiple comments discussing, hey, I have a few thousand dollars locked up. I have no idea what's going on. I myself have been banned from Coinbase. It's been years. It was terrible treatment. I almost lost my Bitcoin to them. So there's obviously worse choices. Let me know. Have a great one. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. And thank you for finally surpassing over 900 subscribers. Let's get to a thousand now. Absolutely fantastic work, you guys. Hit that like, dislike button, whatever. Comment down below. We shall see you guys tomorrow. Write down what you think about Binance. Bye.